Serious tayo ngayon. Sige nga, palakpakan nga natin si Lord with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our mind, and with all our strength. Oh, tapos na? Tapos na ba yun? Okay, with all our... Sige, yun. Okay, we can do better than that. Palakpakan natin si Lord and we will just uh, uh, sit back, be, be comfortable, nasa bahay kayo ng Panginoon. And we will hear God's powerful word this afternoon. Okay? Tulad nga nang sabi ni Tora, I am just so complete today. Okay? Ay, kiss me. <laughs> Valentine's bitaw. Okay? Ay, Heart's Day bitaw, di ba? Sabi nga nila, why do we celebrate the Heart's Day? Wala naman sa Bible. Okay? Sabi ko naman, sabi naman ng iba, why do you celebrate your birthday? Nasa Bible ba yan? Diba, wala din naman. Okay? But you know, we will talk about hearts because uh, ang, ang heart ng ating Panginoon ay para talaga sa ating lahat ngayon. Amen ba? Amen. I am Pastor Loloy. Okay? Maniwala na kayo pag sinabi ni Pastor Tora na magkapatid kami. Okay? Ay nalang magpangutana. Okay? <laughs> so, uh, this is a month where we celebrate Okay? Araw ng mga puso. Sinong nanood ng concert? Ha? Were you... Nag-enjoy pa kayo? Sa mga songs? Na-inlove ba kayo sa music? Okay? Or mas na-inlove kayo sa author ng love? Okay? Ang author ng love talaga ay ang ating Panginoon. Okay? Binigay niya ang kanyang pag-ibig sa atin. That's why if you have received that love, you have the best relationship that you can have in your life. Amen ba? Okay. Sabi nila, ang hearts nila, para lang daw yun sa mga sweet na asawa. Sino mga asawa na sweet dito sa kanilang mga husband? Ha? Kasi pag hindi raw kayo sweet, huwag kayong mag-celebrate ng Valentine's or Hearts Day. Mag-celebrate kayo ng araw ng tagitingan. Ito ng mga iso. <laughs> Ito ng mga iso yun. Pero lahat dito, alam ko, no? Pag naandyan na kasi si Lord sa buhay natin, nagiging sweet na tayo. Lalong-lalo na sa ating mga minamahal sa buhay. Amen ba? Ayan, sabi nga dito, nilagay ko, mahalin mo ako ng tapat at mamahalin din kita ng sapat. You know, it's only God, no? That can give you love that is just enough. Enough for you. Sobra pa nga so that you can just give it away and give it forward. Okay? Mayroong book daw entitled The High Speed on High Places. Ang sabi dito, it is written by Hannah Harner. This is daw about uh, God's children no, to, be led, to be led to the new heights of love, joy, and victory. Pero ang ano niya, it is also based upon uh, sa scripture na makita natin sa Habakkuk. 3.19. Ang sabi dyan, The Lord is my strength and He will make my feet like hind's feet. Ano yung? Alam niyo yung hind's feet? Okay, yung sa behind, yung sa likod. Mas malakas kasi yun eh. And He will make me to walk upon my high places. May nilagay dito mga conversations ng mga characters. Uh, nagtaka rin ako bakit ganito ang mga pangalan nila. Sabi ni Much Afraid, no? Had look kay siya. Much Afraid, good yung pangalan. He said, I have been told that if you really love someone, you give that loved one the power to hurt and pain you in a way nothing else can. Grabe, no? no? Sabi niya. Sabi naman ng shepherd, sabi niya. To love does not mean to put yourself into the power of the loved one and to become very vulnerable to him. It is happy to love even if you are not loved in return. Diba? Kaya ang sabi mo, basta lang mag-love ka lang kahit hindi na yan babalik sa'yo. Mas happy pa rin. Sabi ni Much Afraid, I would never dare to love unless I were sure of being loved in return. Sino mga ganyan? Sino makarelate? Ha? Okay. Sabi ni Shepard, 
if you if you would love if you would know love you must know pain too okay but it is so happy to love diba mas masaya pa rin okay kung ikaw ay umibig tingnan niyo yung katabi mo kung umibig na ba yan tingnan mo mukha na yan okay sabi nga nila before you get attached to anyone be prepared if they live advance mag-isip, ano? Okay? Di ba? Mga ba, ready ka na lang, baka, di ba, sabi nga nila, walang forever, pero meron actually, right? Sabi nga dito, love is a venture. It is a risk. Okay? It's a gamble, sabi nila. One can really be sure that he will get the return of investment. Ay, morang po business na yun lang, no? Na yung mga return of investment. Yung gusto nyo na ito, that it If we give something, we can have it in return. Much more pa. Di ba? Yan ang gusto natin. Okay? Sa may sugal, no? Di mo matiyak kung babalikan ka ng pagmamahal mo, na ibinigay mo. Marami tayo tumaya sa pag-ibig. Masarap din kasi, eh. Di ba? Pag na-feel mo yung, yung pag-ibig na yan, itataya natin ang lahat. Okay? So, Inibig ka rin ba ng inibig mo? Ha? Kaya may kantang, Mahal mo siya, Mahal kita, Mahal niya ay... Naku, sakit, masakit, huwag na ituloy. Okay? Diba? Sino ang na-UTI dito? Ha? Baka na-biktima ka. Alam niyo ba ibig sabihin ng UTI? Umibig tapos iniwan. Kailangan ka magpa-doktor. Sino kay doktor lang. Pero sana meron din ibang UTI. Urinary tract infection. <laughs> Umibig tapos inibig din. Yan ang maganda. Ipalakpakan na natin si Lord sa UTI na yan. Okay? So, nagdugo yung murag ka mo. Pero sila ni ay. Ano nga na gani na mga murag mga unta? No? Murag. Hello? Okay. Thank you, Van. Magpatahit na lang sila sa imong mama. Okay. Advertisement, may bahaya dapat yun, di ba? Okay? Kaya kasi na nga rin tayo itong murag. No? Murag macho, pero... Kamo na rin sumpay, hinom kayo na. Okay, maraming pagsubok. Maraming sumubok sa pag-ibig. Dapat kasi ang pag-ibig meron tayong tipay ng duog. One has to be strong enough to test the water of possibilities. Pag umibig tayo, we must have the courage to stand up, okay? And to dust off and move in life. Kung baka mag-fail din. Ganyan lang talaga. Pero may mga popular sayings dito. Sabi, It's better to love, to have love, and lost than never to have love at all. Ang ganda nito, isa dito yung sinabi ni yung sa literature natin, si Alfred Lord Tennyson. Huh? Christian ito siya? Okay. Thank you, my Holy Spirit. <laughs> okay? Di ba maganda? Mas, mas maganda pa rin yung umibig kaysa hindi ka talaga marunong. Hindi ka talaga umibig. Okay? Pero yung nagsabi, The course of true love never did run smooth. Grabe, no? Talagang rough talaga ang ano ng tunay na pag-ibig. Sinabi naman niya ni William Shakespeare. Meron ding mga Pinoy quotes. Bibilib talaga ako sa Pinoy. Huwag mong problemahin ang pag-ibig. Kusang ikakaltas sa sahod mo yan. 
Okay? And recently nga, itong ang ENCO. No cast on Valentine's. Marami daw na infect no ang ano. Ang Valentine's Day. But nothing, okay, can separate us from His love. He manifested His love towards us by laying down His life for us. And He also wants us to give it forward to others. Ang sabi nga dito, 1 John 3, 16, this is how we know that what real love is. Jesus gave His life for us so that, okay, we should also give our life for each other as brothers and sisters. Ang ganda no, kasi yung 1 John 3, uh, John 3, 16 and 1 John 3, 16, ganito ang sinasabi. Okay? God's love the world yung 1 John, ay yung John 3, 16. Ando naman sa 1 John, okay, gi-emphasize na po niya, okay, and God's love and that love will also be given forward to brothers and sisters. Okay? So we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren also. We should also raise our life to save the lives of others. And we should be ready, okay, to lay down our lives to redeem the souls when this may appear to be a means of leading them to Christ. Yan ang ginagawa natin, di ba? So this is the kind of love that only wants to give and give. Hindi katulad ng iba na hatag bawi. Hindi yung gugma ni Lord. Hindi yan hatag bawi. Si Lord ang nagbigay niyan. At hindi niya babawiin. And He wants us to give this love forward, to give it away if we also, kung nakandiyan na sa atin yan. Okay? Pinaglaban na kasi yan ni Lord dun sa cross, sa Kalbaryo. We cannot outlove God. We cannot outgive God. Okay? So He loved us so much that He gave His best for us. So the question now is, tayo ba lahat dito natanggap ba natin yung love na yan? Yeah, bakit hindi? Bakit hindi nai love? Natanggap na ba natin yung love na yan? Or, I know others have just taken it for granted. Hindi kasi nila siguro parang mas nainihan kung anong klase ng pag-ibig na yan. Merong sinabi dito, love is never wasted or its value does not rest upon reciprocity. Yung pag kanina sabi natin, di ba, kung gusto mong ini, umibig ka, ibigin ka rin. Pero alam na, pag hindi ka inibig, hindi nawawala yung value ng love mo. Okay? So kayo, mga singles yan, kung, hindi, kung umibig kayo at hindi nireciprocate, hindi naman, okay, hindi naman bumaba yung value ng love mo. Siya ang nawala? Yeah. <laughs> nawala niya yun. Si Lord hindi naman eh. Di ba? Kung sinabi niya, I love you, hindi mo tinanggap. Hindi naman, nag, hindi naman bumaba yung value ng, ng love niya. Whether, whether you receive it or not. God's love still the same. Same power, same value. Same life changing. Life saving. So I am just so amazed. Okay, by this, by this God that we have. Okay? Dili, wala siya nagyong, bahala ka niya. I love you, but take it or leave it. Hindi naman ganun eh. Pero ang sabi niya, He wants it to, that we should take it so that we can give it away or give it forward. And because of this, meron niyang greatest commandment na sinabi dito sa Matthew 22, 34-39. Pinadya naman yan. Pakibasa daw. Okay? May mga Sadducees kasi, may mga Pharisees. Ito yun silang mga mga critical masyado kay Lord sa panahon ni Lord. And they are the expert of the law. So, ang ginagawa nila ito everyday, they just want to test Jesus kung talagang credible ba siya kung siya ba talaga ay tunay. Okay? So sabi na, Teacher, which is the greatest commandment of the law? Alam niyo yung reply ni Lord? Siyempre, alam niyo na kasi nandyan eh. Di ba? Sabi ni Lord, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. Okay? This is the first and the greatest commandment. 
And the second is like, love your neighbor as yourself. Sabi ng iba, mas may pa si Lord, dalawa lang ang commandment. Yung asawa ko, unlimited. Isa yung tawa niya ng mga asawa kasi tinuod, no? Isang up na kasi sa dalawa na lang. Okay? Because if you will love the Lord, hindi ka na palaaway, hindi ka na mamamatay tao. So isang up lang niya, love thy God with all your heart. Okay? So as you see, makita natin, no? As we observe, okay, that this is a command. Okay? So that's why the title, hindi pala sinabi yung title ng word natin. Okay? Bakit hindi kayo nagsalita dyan? Love's giving and giving it forward. Yan ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon. Inuna ko lang yung introduction para maganahan na mo. Okay? Okay? Malapit nang matapos. Kasi mag magsabi naman kayo. Diba? Di ba love niyo ako? Pagsabihan niyo naman ako. Okay? Love's giving and giving it forward. So love's giving. First point. Okay? This is in relationship with God. Love's giving. Ang gusto ni Lord, we give it back. Tayo kasi. Sabi na nila, I love you with an everlasting love. Di ba? Ang pag-ibig ko sa inyo. Wait, mamama, kakamatay ko. Pero alam niyo, kung hindi pa tayo utusan ni Lord, hindi lang tayo natural na ibabalik natin sa kanyang love na yan eh. Ganyan yung human nature natin. Okay? We can just reciprocate God's love. Pero sabi nila dito sa binasa natin kanina, it is happy to love even if you are not loved in your return. Ganyan si Lord. Ito yung karakteristik ni Lord. Siya, kaya sabi niya, love, your, love, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. At may doon sa Mark 12, 30, and with all your strength. Okay? So this is the kind of God, no? Na gusto rin niya, kasi love na love niya tayo. Kasi niya, ibalik, ayaw ni Lord na masaya ang, ang plano niya sa atin. Kaya, kasi hindi tayo natural na yung magbalik ng gumma sa kanya gumawa siya ng executive order. Okay? Commandment. Kailangan pa tayo i-command eh, para ibalik natin yung love. Para rin kasi sa atin ito. Pag gilab natin siya. Okay? Gumawa siya ng batas. Okay? Kaya sabi niya, for God's so love the world, alam natin yan. Kahit hindi pa tayo nagsisimba. Alam natin ang verse na yan. Pero, hindi natin kusang maibalik eh. Yung ang nature ng tao eh. Kaya nga sabi niyo, mahali niyo yung Panginoon niyo. With all your heart, with all your soul. Okay? That is nga His divine love. And that's love that's inseparable. Unchanging. Okay? Hindi nagbabago. You see? Yung kantang, You see the depth of my heart And I love you the same. And you love me the same? Kasi pag nakita ni Lord yung talagang tunay na puso natin, nako hindi ka talaga lovable eh. Naandyan lahat yung mga, di ba? Yung di ba sabi naman ba, yung heart natin? Yun ang seat ng lahat ng mga kasalanan. But still, we miss his our heart. He still loved us the same. Ang changing ang ano ni Lord, ang pag-ibig niya. At saka stubborn pa. Di ba kinang tayo stubborn love nung ano? It's your stubborn love that never lets go of me. Sabi ko, I, I can't understand your love, Lord. Okay? And that love, ang sabi dyan, isa dyan, yet you say and say, you love me still knowing someday that I'll be like you. Ganyan ang patience ni Lord, ang love niya sa atin. He wants us to be Christ-like. Di ba yung pinag-uusapan natin? That's the kind of a stubborn love that He has for us. He's waiting for us to be like Him someday. Kaya kayo, bilis-bilis na yun naman. Bilis-bilis na naman natin. Huwag naman natin talaga pag-antayin si Lord. 
tayong lahat. So, it's never wasted kahit hindi na natin ibigay. Ibalik sa Kanya. Okay. Kaya kayo rin guys, dapat yung gugma nyo, huwag din ma-discourage agad. Balang araw, ibibigay din nila yung love. Love who known. Lagan <laughs> tayo. Di ba that's out of service? Baka pag-usapan natin mamaya yan. So, we give it back no, to God by loving Him. So, unang-una ay with all of your heart. Hawakan nga natin ang puso natin. Does it love God with all? Does we, do we love God with all of our heart? Ang pag-ibig kasi, di ba, usually, love mo kasi kadugo mo. Di ba? Anak mo, pariente ni mo. But you know what? Ang pag-ibig kasi talaga, hindi lang niya sa dugo. Nasa puso. Nasa puso talaga. Okay, so with all your heart, no? Sabi, ang left daw is the Hebrew term of heart, no? Yung course naman is the Latin word for heart. So, it is the root of our courage. Kaya nga yung laban Pilipinas, yung basketball, di ba? Puso. Mas ipili, eh, tagas man yun, di ba? Yung sa basketball. Pero at least may puso. Okay, nandyan yung courage. Nandyan yung heart natin yun. So, he who loves God with all his heart, ito yun siya yung loves God, who loves God, nothing in comparison of him. Eh, ano ba yung kanta natin na walang nagpupu compares to you? Yun yung pag-ibig na walang comparison si Lord. Siya lang. Okay? And nothing but in reference to Him. This is a love who is ready to give up do or suffer anything in order to please and glorify Him. Yan, that is the loving of God with all your heart. May sinabi ako dito, if you don't know what to do, then choose the one that glorifies God and you will never go wrong. Yan yung loving your heart with all your heart. When you do something, do something that will glorify God. Hindi ka talaga magkakamali. Basta na-glorify si Lord. Kahit na in suffering. Kaya si Apostle Paul, he practiced this one. Ang sabi niya dito sa, sa Philippians 4, 12 to 13, I know how to live in almost nothing with everything or with everything. I have learned the secret of living in every situation, whether it is full stomach or empty, with plenty or little. I can do all things so Christ. It's time. That's glorifying God in any or in every situation. And you will never go wrong. So to love God with all our heart means to glorify and praise God at all times. At all times means every day. No? In praise natin si Lord. In happy days and in lonely days. Okay? In bad times and in good times. Okay? Happy. May question dito. That this means that even there's a loved one who will pass away, happy pa rin tayo? Of course, we, we act, no? In the right situation. Okay? So, but in these circumstances, loving God with all our heart means being courageous and remaining hopeful knowing that God will see us through. Pwede ka pa rin kumiha, pero hopeful and happy. Can we give God a praise? Clap of the Lord. Pangalawa, with all your soul. Okay? Soul is the innate part of you that all that always knew that you were created by your creator. Then yung soul, yung part ng tao. So, he who loves God with all his soul, okay, he is the one who is ready to give up his life for his sake. Diba, binabalik natin kay Lord, no? To endure all sorts of torments and to be deprived of all kinds of comforts rather than dishonor God. Napag-usapan natin yung Beatitudes, di ba? When we are injured, we endure. Okay? 
So it is more than knowing the truth that God created us and believing that He exists. It is knowing that He loves us enough to send Jesus to die for us, for our sins. It's knowing Jesus. You need to know. That's why may kanta nung malit pa ako, Jesus loves me. May video ba tayo dyan? Okay, yung Jesus loves me. You should know this. This is the basic kasi of our faith. You should know that Jesus loves you. Yun natin yung video. Wala pa? Mas maganda kasi yung video, okay? May yung pinanta ng bata. Jesus loves me, is I know. Wala? Hindi ako si Pumoy, ha? first practice na mo. Okay? But, it is important that you should know. Hindi mo pwede, di ba? Pag hindi ka makakanta, sabi ko, that's the basic knowledge of God. Alam mo na love ka ni Lord. That's why you can sing yung mas marami pang mga praise and worship songs ngayon. Mas dapat natin malaman niyang kantang yan. Kaya nung maliit pa kami ni Tora, alam na namin yan. Jesus loves me. This you know. Because how can you reciprocate that love of God if you do not know? Kaya nga marami na tayong nakakanta mas ano pa ngayon, no? mas power pa because of that song, because we know God's love for us. Now you know, okay, that Jesus truly loves you. It will solid, this will give us the truth, no? This will give us the solid foundation of our relationship to our God. That God, and we know that He loves us so much. Merong around seven I knows sa Bible. Pero mag-side lang ako ng quote ito. Job 19.25, I know my Redeemer lives. Did you know that that your Redeemer now lives? Kasi kung patay pa rin siya, nasa cross pa rin siya, or nasa grave pa rin siya, ang sabi ng Bible, ikaw, kayo yung pinakakawawa pag hindi nabuhay ang Panginoon nyo. You are of all men most miserable that you, so that you should know that your Redeemer lives. Wala bang palakpak dyan? Sabi that too? You know? Pangalawang I know na sinabi ko rito, and we know that He is really the Savior of the world, John 4, 42. Alam niyo ba na ang Panginoon natin, siya lang ang Savior? At wala nang iba? Kayo dyan sa taas, alam niyo? Yes, alam natin that our Jesus is only the Savior of the world and nothing else. Wala nang iba. There is no other way. Okay? He is just the only way, one way to God. At ang pangatlo na sinabi ko rito yung of uh, 2 Timothy 1.12, I know whom I have believed. You should know kung kanina mo inintrust yung buhay mo. Kung kanina mo inintrust yung faith mo. Kasi kung hindi mo alam, palingunin ko yung daan mo. Kaya sabi ni Paul, he's just so confident, I know whom I have believed. And I am, I am confident that he will be able to keep what I have entrusted to Him until that day. You should know that. Kaya sinabi yung pag-sure, 
Kaya ayaw lang ng bana natin may sure ni Diyo. Kung sa bana gani, mag-sure ako eh. Pero kung sa salvation, mas mag-sure ka. So marami pa, di ba sabi ko, seven I know, sa katuloy yung sinabi ko. Pero sapat na po yan. Palakpakan natin si Lord John. And then, He loves with all, we should love God, we should give His love with all our mind. So, He who loves God with all His mind, okay, is our intellect who applies only to know God and His Holy Will. Who receive with submission, gratitude, and pleasure the sacred truths which God has revealed to man. Hindi naman kailangan learn it kayo. Hindi naman kailangan no, mag-study ka para mga malalalim, para magkaroon ka ng kaalaman. Okay? Only the sacred truths which God has revealed to man. Okay? Doon lang tayo sa mga interest in reference to God and His love to mankind. Mind, mankind. It also means renewing mind daily so that we think more of His thoughts instead of our own. Yan ang sinabi ng Romans 12. We will be, we will be totally renewed okay? with all our mind. Nagiging devoted na tayo sa Kanya. Hindi na tayo devoted. Okay? Wala na yung ganyan-ganyan kay Lord na. Wala na yung tagay tayo sa Lord because sabi sa devoted. Okay? Na-renew ka na eh. Kasi noong una, di ba? It is giving to God's will and thoughts that are good, pleasing, and perfect. And the last is with all our strength. He who loves God with all his strength. Okay? Makita natin sa Mark 12, 13. Who exerts all the powers of his body and soul in service of God and for the glory of his maker. Spares no labor nor cost. Bahala lang mo, di ba? Maggagawin mo ng lahat. Kahit paggagastos ka. No, you sacrifice your time, body, health. No? Di ba tayo? Sino nga atin ng doubt prayer meeting? That's kind of sacrifice. Hirap kaya bumangon, di ba? Gumising sa ano? Kaya yung mga nakuha network goal, don't prayer meeting yan. Hindi yan don't. Ha? Yung iba na ako sa hindi nag-attend, kaya kala nila don't prayer meeting. Klaro mo na ito ha, don't prayer meeting yan. So mag-attend na kayo, saan na? Okay? So marami tayo, no? Labor, our labor, our service to God, our different ministries. Nakakamaze ako ito sa mga haku team natin. Di ba pagka may mga COF tayo, that's a kind of ministry, mabigyan yung mga hinahakot nila. Palakpakan nga natin sila. Okay? That's kind of giving our strength. No? Yung sound system, yung blast, no? nag-practice sila. Palakpakan nga natin yung mga blast natin. Na masagpaan ganun mo, no? Na-practice pa lang. Kanya, no? Take three na, no? Diba? Ubag na kayong nawong. Okay? Yung, lalo yung pao natin, palakpakan nga natin yung pao natin. Alam niyo ba yung mga ginagawa ng pao natin? They practice, no? Para ilid tayo yung tumors. Kaya pagdating ng preaching, napaka-open na yung mga hearts niyo. Because, na-lead na tayo in the presence of God. Palakpakan nga natin ulit yung mga pao natin. Lahat pa ng mga ministries. Dance! Yan talaga ang gusto ko sana. Mag-dance na naman. Nag-dance kami nung nasa Morales Times pa. Kami hindi naturo. Taka ako, wala pa talaga nagsabi yung repeat performance. Yun ang hinihintay namin ba? Mag-repeat performance po mo. Uy, wala dyan nandun ka ron. Nag-question ko, ngano ka ha? <laughs> Ay, mga dancers natin. All of this. Okay? Ito yung 
nung ginagamit natin ang panahon ito, all our strength. Ushers, no, mahugas plato, kung may mga encounters tayo, yung maglinis dito, okay? lahat-lahat, sino pang hindi ko naana? Marshall! Okay? Mas inula sila yung mga batuta, no? Adlock niya po ng mga ba, respect niya po ng mga bata sila. They give their time, their effort. Everyone, na sino pa? Jesus. Pixel! Thank you, Pixel. Medyo... Ah, na na ma-adjust, no? Sige. <laughs> Muna yun na siya. Sige, palakpakan natin si Lord. We are just giving our strength. Okay, to honor God, our divine masters. We praise in service all the goods of His talents, power, credit, authority, influence. Usahin mo, tamblin pa tayo, split para mo siya ba? With all of our strength. Okay? So, these are all, meaning we are totally captured by God's love. Kaya sabi ka ng so, you have stolen my heart. I am captivated by you. Okay? So, it is loving God intensely, sincerely, most lovingly with all energy, with every faculty, with every possibilities of our nature. So, loving God is giving back the love He gave us. So, what an amazing okay? This also qualifies us to be able to give it forward. He showed us the best way of giving it forward. And the question is, to who? Diba sabi natin kayo na, loves giving and giving it forward. So our second point is, in relationship to, with people. And that's giving it forward. Matthew 13, 2, 39, sabi, love your neighbor as you love yourself. Meron akong nakitang pinost. People are not as beautiful as they look or as they talk. They are only as beautiful as they love. Tinan niyo katabi mo kung nainlove ba yan. Alam niyo pag nainlove yung tao, nagbubloom. Di ba? Pansin niyo? Blooming. So, in ang katabi ni mo, uy, blooming lagi ka. In love siguro ka. Di ba? Yeah, di ba? Kung blooming ka, na ay naga-cat-cat sa inyo, ha? Naga-earing-earing sa inyo. Ingna siya. If you want to capture my heart, sabihin mo, show me that Jesus has yours first. Kaya kayo mga single, ano na islit ako ng mukha kay Queen eh, no? Ano na eh, kailangan, bago mo, sabihin mo, bago mo i-capture yung heart ko, kailangan, pakita mo sa akin na yung heart mo na. Ngayon, that Jesus has yours. So, okay. so when we talk about neighbors, pag-usapan natin yung parable of the Good Samaritan. I-summarize na natin kasi mahabay. Basahin na lang natin. Okay? Just the same. There was a lawyer. Okay? Nagtanong muli kay Jesus. Sabi niya, what, is, what will I do to hear it eternal life? Anong sabi ni Lord? Tinanong ni Lord, no? Grabe ni si Lord. Mas patalino si Lord eh. What is written in the law? How do you read it? Oh. Sabi ni ng lawyer, you should love your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your strength and love your neighbor as yourself. So sabi ni Lord, you have answered correctly and you will live. Sabi <laughs> si Lord, nagpangunta na ka, ibalik mo niya sa iyo. Ikaw na niya po yung mutubat sa pangunta na. Okay, ganyan si Lord. No? Kawais, magaling, matalino. And then, He will give us parables. Kaya nga ito, the parable of the Good Samaritan. So there was this man from Jerusalem, pumunta sa Jericho, and then di uh, ambush niya sa riding in tandem. No? Di tanggalan siya mga siguro, mga, pan, mga pantalon siya niya, Levi's, 
mamalin, i-stream siya ang all. Kaya mo man ang giingon din niya, and beat him, no? I-strip him, and beat him, no? And they departed half, departed leaving him after. Now by chance, merong una priest. Si Lord, ginagabakit itong mga religious leaders. May yan din na example. So, pag-abot sa priest, nakita niya, lumiko. And then there was again this Levite, the same, lumiko din. And then there was the Samaritan. Alam mo itong Samaritan at saka mga Jews, wala yan silang hindi magandang relationship nila. Mayroong stigma yung ano. Kasi half-bred lang daw yung breed lang daw yung ano. Mga Jews, hindi sila tunay. Okay, kaya hindi maganda yung relationship nila. Pero ang Samaritan ang nagpakita okay, ng mercy. Anong ginawa niya? Gisakay niya sa iyong fortuner. Okay? Pero sa una mga God, one pa animal. Ang saka animal niya, ang kabayo siguro. And then, dinala niya sa pension house. Kasi modern na tayo ngayon para mas maintindihan natin. Okay? Dinala niya sa pension house. Sabi niya sa caretaker, sabi niya, okay, ingatan mo siya, uh, pakainin mo, no, bigyan mo siya ng milk tea, <laughs> jolly bee, okay, i-modernize na natin kasi. At saka, uh, may TV man dyan, okay, panoorin mo siya ng make it with you. <laughs> Para mas paganda mahali mo siya. At pagbalik ko, no, i-refund ko lang. Sabi ni Lord, which of the three is the neighbor? Yeah? Alam natin, sino ang neighbor doon? It's the one who showed mercy. If we close our eyes and imagine the situation, can we also be that good neighbor? that good Samaritan. Ito ang sinabi ni Lord eh. No? Ang neighbor, okay, siya yung kuprug, rabi dito kasi yung proof to be the neighbor. Okay? So ngayon, yung dating neighbor, kasi itong man, he was a Jew. Yung priest was a Jew. Yung Levite was a Jew. Sinabi yung literally the neighbor. Pero, Anong ginawa nila? Lumihis. Okay? So, anong ibig sabihin dyan? The Samaritan became the neighbor to the wounded traveler because he was the one who showed mercy. So, being a neighbor, kung sabi nito, it's not a place, but love which makes neighborhood. Palakpakan nga natin si Lord dyan. Okay. Yung nagbigay, okay? The man who showed so much mercy, okay? Pero na kung gusto niya para ano dito? Emphasize. It's the one who showed mercy, okay? To the afflicted. Not to the one who professed. Nag-profess lang. A good neighbor, magaling magsalita, magaling mag-teach. But sa practical na pangyayari sa buhay, hindi na good, naging good neighbor. No? The one who would do nothing for the welfare of the one who needs it badly during that situation. Yung murag na puro. Dagay mga murag good neighbor but actually are okay god especially created us as social beings we need others okay and others need us too sino ba yung mga neighbor natin okay mga street children nakita niyo diyan okay mga elderly na magtabok sa dalan Usahin mo, sumunod ko sa mani si Lola, oy, tabok-tabok na siya lang yung isa. No? Diba? 
mga mga nagbigay sa atin ng mga services, tricycle drivers, jeepney drivers, kung minsan, di ba, magsinumblado ta. Okay? Nalay, sakay ka doon, ah, para, tapos, ah, layok man, sir, mana rin ka, bukay mo sakay kay layok. Ya, mo yung unsay mo. Isa lang ka, sir. Ano ako kayo mong driver? Ano ang ikaw? Di ka mo ba? Lado ay ka. We can be a good neighbor to all of this lahat. Kasi di pa ka ba siya na ni Lord? Okay? Our neighbor is everyone with whom we are concerned. Virtually all men. He is to be loved because he is God's image. Unlikeness. Ears to the same hope as we ourselves. The same appraisal and to up and presented to us an object on which and by which we are to show the reality of our love to God. Marami ako ng sinasabi. Wag yun ang intindi niyo ng iba. Ito lang ang summary. Kapag love mo ang neighbor mo, hindi fake ang pag-ibig mo kay Lord. Palapakan na natin siya. Okay. So, we are celebrating the heart state. Gusto lang namin ipaaman ito. Kami, ang istorya may sa mga mag-priest. Did you remember the five love languages? Kasi, kung nalab na nga natin ang neighbor natin, love or charity starts at home. Or those people who are closest to us. Who are those people who are so close to us? Okay? Kung nirespeto tayo sa labas, mas dapat respetohin tayo doon sa home. Those who are just close to us. Ito yung love languages. Okay? Gusto lang natin, alam namin na marami sa inyo alam na ito. This is just a reminder because this is, we are celebrating love. Okay? So alam niyo yung mga love languages? Si Dr. Gary Chapman pala ang pastor, na pastor and author itong Five Love Languages. This is a best-selling book. I did not actually have read this one, pero may mga, uh, mga sinasabi dito. No? The Five Ways to Express and Experience Love. Sino yung mga mag-asawa na magkatabi ngayon? Okay? Do you know these Five Love Languages? Toro at toro, kailangan nyo ito. <laughs> okay. Una, receiving gifts. Sino gusto ng gift? Di ba? Si Lord is the best gift that we can have. So, mayroong tao na gusto niya ang love language niya. Gusto niya bigyan nyo ng gift. Okay? This encompasses the thought. No? The careful choosing of a tangible item to represent the relationship and actual act of giving. So, okay kayo, di ba? Ang mag-atang yung gifts. Merong, merong nagsabi, mga, mga 25, mga 50 years na sila, o yung kinabigay ng Japon sa sawa. No? Ano siya? It's the thought that counts. No? Pili kayo ng actual gift. No? Huwag kayo maniwala dyan. Hinayin yung asawa. Utot mo eh. 50 years na, mo lang yung <laughs> may lang akong wife muna niya it's the thought that counts ang yata na ako sa Carl Valentine's Day okay? isa lang Carl Rose no? lipay na siya okay? it's the thought that counts pero you can give better than that okay? receiving gifts okay? pangalawa is quality time meron namang ayaw ng gift talaga. Although gusto niya, pero mas gusto niya na sa tabi ka. Sino yung gusto niya? Ha? Wala mo. Gutong na kain mo. Basta na. Alam niya po mo. Wawin mo at lumad. <laughs> Ang gugma daw ba yan? It's not all the loving loving. It's, all, it's also all the sudan, the bugas, and the... Pero meron ganito. Quality time. Magtinutok kayo lang siya dito. Ha? 
o dili mag cellphone. Nayong ba, di ba? Nagtapad lagi pero kanya-kanya. Okay? Naapoy uban ang love language words of affirmation. Ito yung words of affirmation. It's the verbal communication that is encouraging, affirmative, and active appreciation. Appreciative. Sabi ito, appreciative. Di ba? Ang sarap-sarap na ng luto ng wife mo. Di ba? Ano ako niyo? Mura man yung dagat. Ay! Wala man ang word for the conversation. Ay na! Ay! Ang ganda lagi ng follow mo. Okay-okay na yan. I-appreciate natin yung mga ginawa sa atin. Meron ganyan. Walang gifts, sabi ako, kailang walang gifts, bahala. Ba, walang ka, basta pag-abot niyo sa palay, guwapahan niyo mo lang mo eh. Ay, kayo dyan na. Okay. Meron din naman, acts of service. Sabi ng isang wife, lang, mag-change position po takaro mo eh. Ikaw na po mang laba, ako na po yung tanaw TV. Ay, kamu ha, anak si Toro no. Okay. Magluto ka naman kami sa kasal. Okay. Kayo, no? You, you do service. Ano ba? Kayawan ko sa kanila. Hindi ko alam. Gusto kasi kami sa, di ba? Mag, mag, sa meal, meal gani, breakfast sa, sa, sa niya? Breakfast in bed. Okay? Action service, mag-luto pa. Ganyan. Marami pang service na gusto. Yan ang love language na dapat alamin natin. And then, and the last is the physical touch. Touch is the language we use to communicate. Doon pa sa infants, okay? And it is a place critical role in social and behavioral development. Kahit na nga sa elderly, kailangan pa rin ang touch. Meron mga asawa nagsasabi, may panangilang manok. Sige, pag-ana-ana, ako ha, na dyan. So, ang manok, kung kayo, blooming kayo, kay may touch. Pero ang asawa, nanimaho na lang ihi sa anak. Hindi na matouch. So we just want like to remind us, all of us, okay, of these five love languages. Okay, touch is crucial in creating romantic, especially husbands and wives. Okay. Ayon sa pagyuman ng mura na pagsubod. Okay. Kailangan, no? Kay ang conflict daw, kung may conflict mo, so conflict resolution is easier with more physical affection, including cuddling, holding, kissing, and the rest. Si Lord, ang gusto niya pag mag-love tayo in all aspects of our life. As we love Him, we also give Him. As we give back that love to Him, He wants us to give it forward. Everyone we love. So it is truly never easy to love as we are also difficult to love. Mahirap naman talaga tayo lahat mahalin eh. But it's not easy. It's not easy but it's not impossible. Okay? For the love of God has lavished on us. It's only the right thing to love Him back. In showing love to others, it's not also easy. But we need to ask God to enable us and empower children to do the things that He commands us. He only asks us to love others too. Uh, he only asks us to love others and not to change them. It is His role to change. It is His job to change others. Ang gawin lang natin, love the world, and all these things will be added to us. So God loved us that He gave His Son Jesus. 
and we take His love. We receive His love by faith. And the next thing we do is we give it back to Him. And after giving it back to Him, when we love Him with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our mind, and with all our strength, and that's the time that we can give it forward to others, to our neighbors. Okay? Sige, lakasan nyo pa para kayo. Okay. So this is the religion of Jesus. How happy our society, our community, our world would be. Okay? If these two plain practical commandments of our Lord Jesus be properly observed. Love me, yan ang sabi niya, and love my fellows. This is our purpose. Di ba ang purpose natin? We obey the two greatest commandments. To love God and to love people. Palakpakan nga ako na nasa. Okay. Sino nga uli yung mga new friends natin, yung ngayon lang lumatid. Ngayon lang raptures. Bakit yung pakitayo daw? This is our way of giving it forward. As we have received God's love, okay, we gave it back to Him. That's why this ministry is just doing fine. This is our way of giving back our love to God. And we will just give it forward to you. O sige, tayo lang, tayo lang, tayo lang. Tayo lang kayo dyan na. Okay, palakpakan natin sila, palakpakan natin. Kaya nga dito, ang nagdama, mas marami ko rin. Okay? Kaya nga sabi, we will give this forward, this love to you. That's why we want you to receive this love today. Okay? Love kayo ni Lord. Okay? Inahigong mo siya sa iyo, that's why He died for you on the cross of Calvary to forgive you sa inyong mga sala. Okay? And be reconciled to Him. So ngayon, we will be reconciled to Him by just this simple prayer. This is a prayer of acceptance. So nduga lang po ninyo. Kung saya kong i-pray, i-pray po ninyo and believe it with all your heart. Okay? That this is your prayer. Okay? Sige, mag-pray na. Sa taas, na ba? Sa taas? Na po? Taas, okay. Okay, palakpakan din pala natin na sa taas. Sige, mag-pray ka. Pusga ninyo ha, sundo ka lang po ninyo. Lord, thank you for your word today. Thank you, God, because you loved us so much. And you gave your son, Jesus. Lord, I want to give that back, that love back to you. But first, Lord, I will receive and accept your love for me. I now accept Jesus as the Lord and Savior of my life. Thank you, O oh God, for forgiving me, for giving me salvation. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Palapakan natin si Lord, okay?